We're from the Fijian Draw. Welcome to our world. Every game has presented its own challenge with the teams we've come up against. This to knock over the defending champions. You never really expect what can happen, but I think the boys have shown what you need to do in this team. The way we play, we take the good and the bad, and I think that's what makes our game quite exciting. They just have to put it into touch, and it's another famous victory. Be here by seven normally, most days. We come in, you do your own kind of activation warm up, get your body right. We have a lot to in the morning before we start training. After that, we'll have a gym session. Split forwards and backs, forwards and backs. Sometimes the forwards do a gym and then they do their line outs and set piece and stuff, and the backs just do the gym and then we just relax because we don't have many work on the backs don't do much on the field. They don't do much anyway. We're pretty good, we're pretty strong. If we have a big field session coming up, we'll normally have a big lunch before that. Head off for the second session, finish that, come back and just jump in the ice baths, shower. If we have any meetings, we'll have them. And even on our off days, all the boys are kind of always together, really, to be honest. We don't know where she come from, but everything she do so cold. She can make your mind run crazy. She can make the truth unfold. Nobody knows what her name is. But she look like she famous. Outrageous, looking pretty dangerous. She can make the truth unfold. We try to play structured, but obviously the boys have grown up with touch rugby, one touch and everything, throwing the ball around and I think the people of Fiji probably aren't so surprised with all the, you know, the offloads and things like that. It looks a bit chaotic, but it's almost controlled chaos in a way. Even sometimes I get a bit uh, unexpected as a first five trying to sort things out and then someone just does something else. I'm like, what the hell? And then they end up doing a try from it. So I think that's just the way we play. And it'll be a bit sad to try and take that away from us. We get to the ground, do our warm up and everything, and then come back in. We have our talk first, we sing a hymn, we have a prayer, and then we run out onto the field. And then sometimes we like to be five minutes late after kickoff. <laughs> Playing in front of family always makes a difference, as opposed to when we are away for our away games. And even just off the field, in terms of having that fan base, you know, having the rugby players walk around, doing our shopping amongst the, the community, it's, yeah, it's definitely brought us together. You always just want to get up in front of your family, in front of the crowd. I appreciate everyone coming out and uh, supporting them. They honestly go off. You can definitely feel the energy that they bring. Sometimes it gets a bit too rowdy. We're to, to the point where sometimes, even myself, I get caught up in the hype. You can see some crazy stuff that happens on we're out there. Crazy good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> With the, the shark teeth, the mangi mangi, the star, the pedals, the oars, and the sail. Oh, and the waves. Yeah, and the waves. That comprises the jersey. And all of that pretty much uh, envelopes what Fiji is about. The designer was Anare Sumumu. My name is uh, Anare Sumumu. I'm the last to do the Mdua designs. It came from my heart to all my soul. In this uh, design is to represent everybody who call Fiji as their home. They are part of the team. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the most memorable game would have to be the Crusaders one. Our home game here in Lotoka. Boys made history. Boys made history. Defeating the defending champions. Flames are up in Lotoka. The Fiji and Dua are up in Lotoka. It was definitely an emotional game for not just the players, but for the people of Fiji. Yeah. But this is very special. 
first home game of 2023.